Hello? Welcome. This is Flames. Uh, the two cities. Oh, I'm so excited. Hello, loyal listeners. This episode will revisit our first episode on graveyards. In this episode, I'll be sharing stories from Alabama, Washington, and Illinois. This episode will build on the first episode that explored the Pioneer Cemetery here in Eugene, Oregon, and Ellie shared some gossip about the haunts of the Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Los Angeles, California. I'm going to add Alabama's Dead Children's Playground to this conversation. The playground near Maple Hill Cemetery is the oldest cemetery in Huntsville, Alabama. It's a playground apparently designed to entertain children while their parents visited graves in the cemetery. Though local lore says the playground is used by children, living, and dead. Since the first burial in 1822, paranormal activity has been recorded in the cemetery, which was founded in 1869. Since the opening of the playground in 1985, orbs of light have been seen moving down the slide and on the swings. Others mention seeing ghost children playing and calling out when no one is around. Giggles can be heard echoing through the cemetery near the playground. The supernatural occurrences happen between the hours of 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. There was also a string of murders of children in the 1960s, and some bodies have been said to have been found in the area. In 2007, the city attempted to remove the park to make more room for graves. After public outcry, the equipment was replaced with newer, less creepy stuff. This had no effect on the ghostly children. In 2008, the Alabama Paranormal Society investigated the dead children's playground and caught a female ghost in a photo. And in 2012, the Alabama Paranormal Association managed to record children's voices when using the electronic voice phenomena recording, as well as a video of the swings moving on their own. Now to shift from the children to the mothers. In Illinois, the Italian bride continues to confuse many. In 1921, Julia and anyone who is Italian and can give me an idea actually how to pronounce this, I would love to hear from you. Giulia Bucola Petta died in childbirth and was buried in her wedding dress at Mount Carmel Cemetery, among the graves of mobsters and bishops. An elaborate statue of her stands out in the cemetery she was buried in. There's a photograph of Giulia on a plaque at her gravesite. She looked flawlessly preserved despite the picture being six years after her burial. Soon after her death, her mother began to have nightmares that Julia was demanding to be exhumed. And after six years, Julia's mother's demands were met, and Julia was exhumed. Her body was found in pristine condition, though her stillborn son had decayed and did not remain in the condition as his mother had. Julia's mother raised money to erect the large statue to honor her daughter after having found her daughter's corpse so well preserved. She took a photo of Julia in her coffin and had it placed on the new tomb, with a photo of Julia on her wedding day. This gave the tomb the nickname the Italian Bride. Some think it shows Julia's purity and saintliness, though others claim that the chemical composition of the soil may have slowed her decomposition, but that doesn't account for her son's decomposition. There have been reports of unusual activity near the grave, such as the smell of fresh flowers in the dead of an Illinois winter, and a ghostly woman in white roaming the cemetery in the halls of the nearby Proviso West High School. This reminds me of the woman in white seen in the Pioneer Cemetery and the woman in black of Hollywood Forever. If you want to hear more about that, check out episode one. But be warned, we had to work out some issues, so the quality is not, the sound quality isn't so great, but the content's really rad, so if you're interested, check out episode one. While people stop to smell the flowers and take a look at the Italian bride in Illinois, in Washington, women and children have been seen dressed in old, raggedy clothes wandering through the Paradise Valley Cemetery. The Maltby Cemetery, later named Paradise Valley Cemetery, is home to 13 Steps to Hell. It's rumored to be associated with Satanism and is believed to hold a subterranean tomb accessible by way of 13 steps that was for a wealthy family. Others believe the 13 steps lead the damned souls to their final destination, hell. The cemetery opened in 1901, just 20 miles from Seattle, though the exact date of the crypt has been lost as the site has been bulldozed and covered in concrete. But it hasn't stopped visitors from looking for a scare from exploring the area. People have reported being hit, and worse, stumbling towards a vision of hell. Unsurprisingly, the crypt is a hub for legend tripping, which is a term used to describe a rite of passage typically enacted by teenagers and consisting of, typically, a nighttime journey to a place where there was a horrific crime or some kind of supernatural event. Kids often get drunk in or near the cemetery and traverse the steps when they were still accessible. Reports of finding a vision of hell at the bottom of the steps were common. 
People would say that the cemetery disappeared, and the tales often left the person who witnessed hell insane. Those following that person told of them turning to them and screaming for them to turn back. The leader would fall to their knees, and several stories describe the leader emerging comatose upon the steps, never to speak again. Creepy stuff. If you want more on cemeteries, check out our first episode. Though, as I said, the sound quality's not so great. You've been warned, but it's totally worth listening to. We'll be continuing our Halloween mini-marathon soon with stories from different states. Thanks to Thrillist for the list, the creepiest urban legend in every state, which provided some of our info for this episode. Music for this episode is from Kevin McLeod, and the song is Night of Chaos. Licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 3.0. That can be accessed at creativecommons.org. Pretty apt for the 13 steps to hell. And a friendly reminder that we love to hear from you, so let us know what you think, and hit us up if you want your state featured. Until next time...